hello everyone welcome to this video tutorial this tutorial is about headers and footers and to start this tutorial we need to activate the ruler so we shall move our mouse pointer to the top right corner and here is the ruler button so we shall just click on it once to make them get displayed on our screen so when you click once here we have got the ruler and another ruler on our left so now that we have got the ruler we would like to see where the headers and the footers are found here just above this text where we see the mouse pointer moving this is what we call the header section and we can see that by the dark part of this ruler here then we shall scroll down using the scroll button by clicking so when we click click so the downer part here of the page is where we call the footer section that one is also marked by this dark part of the ruler from this part downwards so below the page is the footer and above we can click hold this button and move up then above here is the is the header now we would like to enter a piece of information on this header section we do that by simply double clicking on the header section so we double click when we double click you see a dotted line drawn indicating that this is the header section and also supported by this information here now when you double click you see the header section you see the design tab automatically inserted by this program these are options that we can perform specifically on the header section if we want now let's insert our piece of information and that will be sums 23 from here we can decide to put this text onto the center of this document by going to the home tab then we use the alignment tools this time we select on center when you click on it the text will go to the center as you have instructed the program now we have got the information on our header section but we now we don't want to be on the header section so we have to deactivate that we shall go to our design tab we click after clicking we shall select this last option where there is close header and footer we click once so when you click the header section is deactivated with the footer section we want to insert page number instead of text so we move our mouse pointer to the insert tab we click once after clicking we shall move up to the header and footer group but we select page number we shall click once and we would like this page number to appear at the bottom of the page so you move your mouse pointer up to bottom of page then we can put it as plain number two so that it goes in the middle if we want so we shall select the second option by clicking once so when you click once you see the page number has just gone below the page or in the footer section and it is also indicated here so you realize that after entering the page number the page number gets a grayish background to, to see it well let us zoom in by double, by clicking on this plus button so you realize that there is a grayish background this is a field that contains always the text that is automatically added in by the program 
so that's why we have this kind of background so we can zoom out by clicking on the minus button now to get out of the footer section let's move our pointer and we click on the close header and footer button so that has helped us to close the footer sec after closing the footer section my screen goes back to its original position for instance this was where our cursor was so that is what happens after the closing of the footer important to note is that every information that appears on the header section and the footer as we have seen will always go on other pages in the same document now to do that we need to have another page of this kind in this document of ours so we shall move our mouse pointer to insert tab we click we shall use page break to insert another pay another page on this document but before if you point at this page break it tells us start the next page at the current position our current position is this point where we see our cursor blinking from and that means that if we click on page break that means all the information here all this information up to the, the part of soul will be pushed to the next page that shall be created so we can click on page break once when you click you see a page created now you see we have these two pages and they are separated by this line that is moving horizontally and also another important thing is that thumb 23 which was in page 1 is automatically in inserted in page 2 also we can scroll down we click hold this button and we move down we shall also realize that on page 2 there is a 2 added there this means that if we go in page 2 for example in the footer section and we make some changes the changes made in page 2 will also be reflected in page 1 for example let's click to open the footer section we shall double click after we shall type here the word page after putting page just put a space to separate this word from this figure now we scroll up by using this scroll button click hold and move upwards so if you see on page one we inserted on a word page in page two but now it is also reflected in page one that's why we said information placed in a footer can appear on every page in that document let's now move and close our footer and header section by clicking on this button and when you click you see now the footer section is deactivated and also the header section is deactivated that's it for now see you in our next tutorial